Good evening, my revolutionaries. It is Tuesday, the 27th, and uh, we're on day two of the All Via Week. Uh, it is your leader of the Rideshare Revolution, the realest, the funniest, the handsomest, and the beardedest uh, driver on YouTube. And uh, funny thing, I was listening in on uh, your personal driver's uh, live stream today. And as I was commenting, he was chatting how he wants to do a, a podcast uh, separate from the Entrepreneur and Uber Hence, Your Driver Mike and Drive Girl Drive. And he asked me if I want to be a part of it. I'm like, fuck yeah. What? <laughs> I love to talk to people. So why wouldn't I want to do a podcast? Uh, so so preliminary names as of right now are uh, Ride Care, Rideshare Rejects, <laughs> which I really like the sound of that one. Um, Okay, so day two of VIA. Today was not as good as yesterday. Um, and I'll show you guys right now. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I, I, I did oversleep today. I I was up at like 3.20, 3.30, and then I just kind of passed out. And then I woke back up around 5.15. So I... I, I I hit traffic coming back into the city because there was an accident this morning. Um, there was an accident and I ran into the accident, or I ran into the traffic because of the accident heading back. So I uh, just got unlucky, I guess. Um, so this morning from 6 to, from 6 to 9.30, let's just say 6 to 10 and then 3 to, 3 to 7.30, so all that time was most of the time was on like logged onto the app uh i had a trip this afternoon i picked up this girl from around like four o'clock i picked her up by uh by by like wacker drive and she went all the way to uh pretty much like rogers park and then i had the app on for 40 like about 40 minutes heading back uh south did not get a ping so yeah i probably out of the seven and a half eight hours i was in the on the app today probably an hour of that was spent with no pings so uh it was still a pretty busy morning but the afternoon seemed like it was pretty slow um so today tuesday yes uh tuesday was 134 44 uh according to this 12 trips with 13 riders and effective hourly earnings 36 an hour uh, but no not even close in in reality like I said if we're the low on seven and a half hours on the app high end eight um, 19 bucks an hour today so not not that good, but I've heard uh, in the group chat my drivers were saying how it's, it's, it was pretty slow today. Uh, you know, I think when the weather starts to get nicer, people will take Ubers and Lyfts and ride shares less. They'll just uh, they don't mind hopping on the bus. You know, I think I think that's what happens in Chicago. I can't speak for the markets, but I don't know. So um, yeah, I'm wrapping it up for today. Uh, I've, I'm gonna go meet up with a friend of mine and get some get some nice tacos and maybe a margarita. So that's that's gonna be cool. Uh, and uh, oh yeah, criticisms of Via today. Um, the app kind of goofs up here and there. Like it doesn't allow you to end it. Like you will end the trip on the app, but then the the app kind of freezes. But I did figure out because it happened to me three times today. So I did figure out that like if you if you're using a tablet or a phone to just like to just close the app, then it usually is up and running right after. So I wish I would figure that out a bit earlier, but I'm a bit of a caveman as you guys know. Um, so there was a couple issues with that today. One of them actually cost me a trip because I dropped someone off like a block and a block later I went to go pick someone else up and it didn't register that trip. Uh, it wasn't the fault of the passenger so I just went ahead and you know picked them up and dropped them off. But um, and another another thing I do not like about Via is 
guys I've talked about this in a, in a video recently. Um, Via, since you're picking up on street corners, Via will match you up with passengers on Michigan Avenue, on State Street, and like, you are not supposed to be doing pickups from those areas. So that's the fault of the app, just like Uber and Lyft. Like, if you're a passenger and you and you wanna take a trip, you should not be allowed to make a trip request from a street where there's nowhere to park. I mean, that's all three of the apps, period. Like this morning, I, I had a girl in my car, very, very cool girl. We were on Michigan Avenue and got a request on the corner of Michigan and Chicago. Now, and there's a timer on the thing, there's a timer timer on the VIA app. Oh, let me show you something else. I'm not as scatterbrained today as I was yesterday. Uh, there's a timer on the app where it says like, cancel for no show. I don't think you get a fee for 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 canceling on no shows like you do for Uber, but um, this person, they got like 15 seconds on Michigan Avenue, Chicago and Michigan, so that was cool. And I told the girl, I was like, if he doesn't get in the car now, I'm not stopping because there was buses everywhere. Like, I am not stalling traffic to pick someone up. I refuse to do it. Um, so, yeah. Oh, fuck. I forgot to email the pictures to myself. It's too late now. No, I, because um, I, I took pictures of the of the screen today to uh, to show you guys that Via will actually, one of the cool things about Via that Uber and Lyft don't do is um, when you get the request to pick someone up, it shows you where they're going before you pick them up. So that's cool. So like, I, I think that's really cool. Another cool thing about, or I was going to show you guys pictures of the uh, the rocket rate. I would show you now, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's rocket rating right now. There is no rocket rates, um, but okay. So this is going to be showing you. So Via in Chicago operates. If you guys can see that. Ah, fuck. Via operates in that grid there. You see that grid there? It covers, it covers up to like Rogers Park. Uh, it goes, it goes a further west like Humboldt Park, and then it goes as south as about Chinatown. Uh, and they've been expanding their grid for the last six, eight months. So, so Via, you're only allowed to take a trip. If you request a trip from within that grid and the end location is within it too, or to the airport. Uh, I've yet to do an airport trip for VIA, so I'm not entirely sure what that's like. Um, and uh, I don't, yeah, I mean, I'd like, to, I'd like to get an airport trip to see what the earnings are like for VIA, but I have not seen it yet, so. Um, so you guys have it, uh, day two, $134 with one trip not not processing so it probably would have been about 142 maybe if that one did uh so yeah day two 134 uh gonna keep at it gonna gonna keep you guys updated on the earnings so um hope you guys enjoy the video and like always i uh, hope this video find has found you in in uh, good health and good fortune and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to join the rideshare revolution and i'll talk to you guys next time bye